Well, hey all you lovelies out there. Welcome back to Magic Time. I'm your host, Thomas, and I'm coming to you with another collector's wine review. And when I say collector, I mean wines of significant density and power and grace that last in the wine cellar uh, for a very long time and that can become better um, and more complex and more valuable. And um, the wine I'm gonna dis display for you today and talk about is the 2006 Fortuna Vineyard Turnbull Wine Cellars Napa Valley Cabernet. I said that a little bit backwards. <laughs> Turnbull Wine Cellars Single Vineyard Fortuna Cabernet Sauvignon. Guys, I have to admit that Turnbull is something that means a lot to me. I was their lead educator for about two years and it was one of my uh, very favorite places ever to work. I love their property. I am deeply connected to their vineyards. Their winemaker is one of the most beautiful human beings that I've ever met, and he taught me so, so much. In fact, maybe more than anyone in the entire wine industry, especially about the process of making wine and um, how wine should display a true sense of place and origin. And that world-class wine is not only um, just delicious, but it has to be interesting in order for it to be world class. And by interesting, I mean that the wine, when you smell it and taste it, that you could say to yourself, this could have only ever come from that one little single property and nothing else exactly tastes like that. That stimulation is what makes world class wine and what makes collector wine. And the Fortuna single vineyard property located on the east side of Oakville is one of my favorite vineyards of all time. This little property has deep uh, significance in Napa Valley history. Um, Pre-prohibition, there was a Christian Brothers uh, wine brand that produced some really great wines and they sourced from the Fortuna Vineyard. So it has deep history in terms of Napa Valley. Uh, but Patrick O'Dell had purchased that property many years ago, who was the owner of Turnbull Wine Cellars. And the wines that have come out of this vineyard have been nothing but spectacular since. Um, it's backed by Rudd, next to, uh, close to Plum Jack, really close to Screaming Eagle and Tench. Um, it's right below this little uprising bench that goes over the east side of Oakville where uh, vineyards such as the Turnbull Leopoldina Vineyard or what they used to call the White's property, White's Vineyard, um, Dalaval, uh, Peter Michael Alpardi, and Joseph Phelps Bacchus Vineyard are located up above that hill. And this vineyard, the Fortuna Vineyard, I think it's about a 59, 60 acre property. About 52 acres of that are planted to vine. And the vineyard is mostly alluvial soil that's washed off that east side uh, mountain range, the Baca Range, which is mostly volcanic in nature. I know the property has several different strata going through it, but a lot of that um, soil is volcanic, alluvial volcanic soil. Uh, the wines from the property are always bursting with beautiful red fruit tones with definite kind of display of an undertone of um, slight herbal tones but um, and, uh, and like volcanic earth tones to it. Um, such pure, beautiful wine from the Fortuna Vineyard. And the way in which Peter Heights, their winemaker, produces the wine is such to display the beautiful terroir of the vineyard and the gorgeous fruit tones that it exhibits. 2016, great vintage in Napa Valley. Uh, one of the better ones in the decade, I would, I would think. Um, and this wine has a gorgeous uh, ruby red color, but a little deeper in the center. Um, not much fading as of now, still a very young little wine. Uh, gorgeous color. The wine is not incredibly vic viscous or inky in color. It doesn't stick heavily to the glass. It has uh, medium viscosity uh, to it. The nose, oh yes, this is where Turnbull's Fortuna Vineyard comes alive. It is full of red fruits. I would say cherries, uh, raspberries, a little undertones of cranberry, um, beautiful kind of subtle earthy tones, um, kind of like a volcanic, uh, volcanic ash, a little bit of sage and kind of uh, provincial herbs. Beautiful, beautiful bouquet. This wine is young, being a 16. I know that with a little bit more age, the aromatic complexity will continue to burst and become more and more pr uh, prominent coming out of the glass. 
but it's very pretty as of now. Beautiful tension on the wine with a streamlined, tight acidity, medium to full tannin. As I mentioned before, not incredibly alcoholic or too round or too viscous like some of the wines can get in Oakville, on the east side of Oakville. Very elegant wine. Um, this wine is a food wine for me. It will pair beautifully with a ribeye steak, um, but just elegant and pure um, flavors, red fruit flavors, uh, cherries, raspberries, like bean cherries, a touch of that kind of cranberry pomegranate note in the wine as well. God, what a pretty smelling wine. Um, as the wine opens up in the glass, it even unfurls more of that kind of red fruit and uh, earthy terroir character. You know, Peter Heights is very much a non-interventionalist when it comes to the wine cellar. He doesn't use gobs and gobs of brand new Darnajou and Terran, so French oak. He um, usually likes the second turn of the barrel a lot, and he's a judicious taster when it comes to his blending and um, going through and tasting through all the barrels and really uh, fine-tuning uh, his wines to have deep complexity and really display the vineyard. Um, he's, he creates wines of tension with verve and tenacity and great acidity and alignment. They're very focused. They do have some round tones to them too, but they're very focused and um, really display the vineyard very well. Uh, Fortuna for me is a 96-point wine in the 2016 vintage. It's one that can lay down for a decade plus and you will gain more complexity and the wine will soften out even more and become more luxurious on the palate. I love Turnbull guys. Seek them out. They have incredible experiences over there. It's a very small kind of boutique property with great artwork. Their owner Patrick O'Dell has um, procured one of the best uh, photography art collections in the entire world and they have gorgeous gardens in their backyards. Uh, exceptional service and friendly service and you feel like you're at a family-owned property. Um, check them out. They have other single vineyard wines as well. Leopoldina and Aminas are great vineyards of theirs. Uh, they make a great reserve Cabernet from Oakville that's less than $100 and of course their big beautiful black label which is kind of their pinnacle piece over there is only $150 and one of the best wines in all of Napa Valley. So check out Turnbull guys. Check out the Fortuna Vineyard. It's my favorite vineyard over there and cheers. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe to the channel guys. Cheers. Thank you.